All right, I've uh, had quite a few people ask me about these darts and kind of showing about, I got some old videos, but we'll do a quick video real quick. Uh, I'm gonna load some darts. Um, running the Prevo in these darts. Uh, this is gonna run through a CO2 powered rifle, a capture rifle. And we're gonna load five CC darts. The thing about these darts, you gotta run a, a kind of a, uh, a more kind of a, a little, uh, the viscosity can't be very high in the material. Uh, and so we're gonna set you down here. And, and the reason why is if you run a drug uh, through it, like, that's got a very, I think I should be seeing this right, a very high viscosity, something that's really thick, like a res floor or, or a, a drug like that, uh, it will not work very well. Um, it will bounce, either the dart will bounce off the kef, or it will uh, shatter the actual plastic housing itself. Now there are um, different companies that make uh, aluminum housings, and you can run it through there, but then you run into the same problem if it's a uh, wrist floor, if it gets cold, then, uh, then you have an issue there it will uh that that dart will bounce off or it just won't completely go through so what i'm going to do this is a brand new bottle so i'm going to take this needle and uh, i'm going to puncture that stopper and the reason why i'm going to do that is you have to run a real small gauge needle so you just take your uh get a clean syringe here i just like to use these these little disposable ones for doing this. You can run that tip right there in the dill, and then you can draw it out. Now I'm going to load five darts this first time. So I will actually pull out about 26, 27 cc's. This is a long uh, needle, really small gauge. You can the company will send them to you if you want it. And here's the here's the big thing I'll try to show you. Is uh, here we go. I don't know if that's gonna focus up very much. Um, this needle here. Um, you want it to uh, where it will go. You have to go down through here, and then you want it to go in into this chamber. And the reason why you don't want it if it's up here. Uh, you'll have an air lock issue and it'll blow the medicine back out the top and then you want a smaller needle You don't want it real tight in here because then you'll run into the same issue It'll you'll have an issue with air getting out so you want it to where it'll go past in here and that allows air to Come back out and go out and you want it to where there's no space around this needle In this needle to get air out of the deal because if you don't it's a whole mess so you'll see in We'll just start filling it up. We get to right there. I, I will stop, but then I'll put my thumb up here on this and pull it out, and you won't lose any mess and it won't continue to uh, flow out. It's really bad on cold days because uh, you, once you start that flow, it'll it'll want to continue. And if your hands shaky like mine then it will uh, run into an issue. So I have some calves out that are sick and it's already noon. We already pulled one set from there and now it's, well, it's October. It's cold at night and it's going to be close to 90 today. And so uh, the calves are big and fat and lots of hair on them. And it's really hard on them when it starts getting hot. And I'll see, I messed up. I don't know where I messed up, but I did mess up somewhere. But 
you'll take this little red cap that is provided and you just slide it onto the needle until you don't want it to puncture through and those stay on the needle you don't pull those off um, and that will keep your medicine from falling out you can sit there and I mean you can load these things for you know and just have them on hand I will I may only use three or four of these see this is why you you don't want to do that because it just takes absolutely forever um, I may only use three or four but I'll have a bunch of them on hand with me in the pickup or the side-by-side -side or uh, if I'm doing it by my feeding by myself then I'll have them in the feed truck and you can doctor kids as you feed and uh, especially if you know if this drug or Draxin or something is working really well at that point in time uh, it works fantastic because you can if you're gonna pull that calf and uh, the way our feed pins are set up where um, our chute is quite a ways away from where the actual pins are so you have to sort that calf out of all those other calves take him to the processing area doctor him there that's already a lot of stress on that calf so if we can feed them or if we can doctor them from the feed truck or or go into the pen and doctor them uh, it's, it's a pretty significant stress reduction on those calves and yeah it may not be all yeah boy cowboy but uh if the medicine works and the calves don't die, then that's really what matters. So, there's nothing romantic about dead calves. So. And these calves, you get a calf that's that sick and you put a rope on them, start choking them down, it doesn't really do you much good. So, but this is one of those tools to have. This, this is not a cure-all by any means. Uh, and a lot of times, this, uh, you know, that that drug that we're running through these, that may not be the, the drug that's working at the time. And, and so then you can't use this. Uh, this is great for out in the pasture. If, like just carrying in a pickup and you're checking cows and calves and all of a sudden you have a sick calf and, well, you know, it's... You're in a pickup, so if you got to go back and get something, or or you're on the side by side, you can. I usually carry a bottle of medicine and a empty syringes and a filling needle with me anyway. I can doctor those calves, um, and it's just fantastic that way. So um, I'm going to be using a rifle. I do have a pistol. These are all. Uh, there's a logo on it. These are these are used. We use we use these. Uh, we use the heck out of them, so they're not necessarily pretty. I'll just take CO2, 12 gram CO2, and that's it. I mean, it's it's simple. It's about as simple as it can get. So, it's just part of it. Um, they do sell, I, I typically buy the 5cc ones. They sell, uh, you can see right here, on there this is from capture they sell anywhere from 1 cc to 12 cc I'm buying the fives I have bought a lot of tens before uh, I'm currently out of tens I need to order some uh, you know what a lot of times Batril is a good drug but the problem with Batril is that that uh, single day dose is a very very large dose so you gotta hit them if you hit them with it you can hit those kids with a 10 cc needle or syringe if you are just running through and need to doctor that calf knowing that you're gonna have to come back so Batril does work in these it's it's works really well in them actually but you got to be running a bigger a bigger uh, syringe on them 
uh, I typically, I, I buy the fives because we, uh, most of the cattle that we doctor are going to be in that 5cc range to begin with. So, uh, that's typically what I do. I just get a handful of them and just start filling. But, uh, yeah, so that that's why I have a lot of the fives on hand. Um, I When I buy them, I just buy them in bulk. I'll buy about two or three hundred of them at a time. And I just keep them on hand that way. So, anyways, that's just... Uh, I have some videos of shooting these darts. You have to go way, 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 way back in the video catalog uh, towards the very beginning to see them, but they are there. If I get a chance, I will uh, take some more of them, but you know, if not, then that's where you gotta go to find them. So yeah, that's, that's loading them, super simple. I deal with Capture, great company. Um, Especially if you're buying a lot of them, you can call them up. Uh, you'll get a break on them over, I forget over how many packs. It's uh, so many packs, you'll get a break on them. Uh, it's a great deal. And uh, it, it is expensive up front. I mean, this thing, this is uh, five bucks just for the disposable one. Uh, you can use reusable ones. I have done that. Um, and I have found by the time that you sit there and mess with the, the plunger and the plunger lube and the and the primer charge that goes in it, and and you have to go get those syringes back. These things will fall off, and you can pick them up and throw them away, because um, these things may not fall off right away. So uh, you have to go get those metal ones, because it. I mean, they're expensive. They're 20, 25 bucks just for one of those, and you lose it. Well, then you're kind of out of luck. So. Um, uh, but that you can run a lot higher of viscosity medicine through it. Um, so it is, there's a place for them. I still have them. I haven't used them in a long time. Uh, I have just gone to this because the simplicity of it and the cost of it. Yeah, it cost five bucks. The medicine you're running through it cost, you know, $25, 20 to $25. So you know, what's another $5? And... If you can keep a cat from dying because he's already stressed out and you can turn him around with this even if you have to go back and re-pull that calf if you can turn him around with one of these it's a it's a good investment so anyways i hope that answers some questions hope somebody picks up something useful from it thanks for watching